Time for one of my beloved trailer reaction videos, this time for Dynasty Warriors 9. Now, I'm a big old fan of the Dynasty Warriors, as many of you will know. So, quite looking forward to seeing this one in action. Heard, of course, that it's open world, but that's about all they've mentioned. Here's what it actually looks like. And, yeah, yeah, that looks like Dynasty Warriors. That's, uh, that's Guan Yu. That was uh, Jahadun before him. Showing us some sky and trees. I want to see some more war, though. There we go. Look at that. New character, that one. There's Shahadun again. Jumping now. I like Dynasty Warriors. I like Dynasty Warriors very much. Oh, oh, that one's showing you. Oh, there's the logo. Oh, I like Dynasty Warriors 9. I don't know why why I did that for as long as I did that. I'm sorry, everyone. So yes, I like Dynasty Warriors. That much is evident. Uh, big fan of it. I tend to be harsher towards the many, many, many spin-offs as opposed to the main entries. I find the main entries to be more dramatic in the way they change things. And there are changes there that people who aren't fans of the series won't really see. And I do. Uh, sort of like a sports game, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I don't play sports games. But I've seen them compared before. So I'll just borrow that comparison and use it as myself. And I'm not going to re-record me saying myself because I thought that was quite charming. But I've been saying that the, the formula needs something injected into it. It, it needs some fundamental shake-up now because it's starting to show its age. We've got games like Sengoku Basara that have come out and, and sort of had some extra energy and some, some freshness added into it that's finally starting to give Warriors a run for its money as what I consider the modern day sort of golden axe era of, of brawler hack and slash beat em up type thing. Uh, that's why I've... That's why I've always liked Dynasty Warriors anyway. Uh, I, I know some people consider it blasphemy for me to compare Dynasty Warriors to a game like Golden Axe because Golden Axe has a long history of pedigree there. But they are still button mashes where you're some fantastical fighter against loads of enemies. I, th I consider it a spiritual follow-up. <clears throat> anyway, changes are coming according to this press release I got. I don't get many press releases these days, not as much as I used to because I don't do press. Um, you know, not since I worked for Destructoid, which incidentally has been sold. Nobody, nobody really noticed, but it has been to some company. Uh, anyway, Dynasty Warriors 9, let's talk about it. I've got a press release, so I've got the, the changes. Obviously, the biggest change is that it's gone open world now, but then every game's gone open world. I'm still intensely curious to see how that translates to a game with historical battles in it. In a war that spans generations, births, deaths, like, like people growing up to full adulthood from birth, uh, there's a lot of, like, like, there's a very set timeline that Dynasty Warriors follows because it's based on Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which itself is based on the Three Kingdoms history of China. Anyway, that's stuff we knew. What stuff we don't know? Let's find out. To Dynasty Warriors 9, I'm going to read the press release, introduces accelerating new combat mechanics to the series signature 1 vs. 1000 style gameplay with the state combo system. Uh-oh. The last time they tried to reinvent the combo system in Dynasty Warriors, we had, uh, I think it was Dynasty Warriors 6, with the Renbu system, which, funnily enough, took a, a game series that had always been accused of being too simplistic and made it simplistica more simplistic uh, for those who don't like the latin term simplistica basically what they did is separate out the weak attacks and the strong attacks so you weren't able to make new combos with strong attacks you know like square square triangle square 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 triangle to do different moves you know it's a very simple combo system that i always liked the renbu system was just boring but this system 
has three different attack styles. Trigger attacks, flow attacks, and finish attacks, each dealing progressively more damage, apparently. Trigger attacks allow players to create the start of an explosive combo, leading to flow attacks which adapt to the enemy's current state. Successful combos allow for a finish attack to be performed delivering a final blow that eradicates any foes caught in its path. These new enhancements aim to create a thrilling and fluid experience unlike any previous entry in the franchise. Not quite sure what any of it meant, to be perfectly honest. There's more though, let's uh, read on. Augmenting the series' first true open world is another immersive innovation introduced in Dynasty Warriors 9. I don't know why the press release at this point sounds like some sort of untrustworthy wizard. But either way, let's talk about this immersive innovation. The interactive action system. Players will be able to fully utilize their surroundings. For the first time, and I'm going to stop that voice now, in the Warriors franchise, with the ability to climb buildings and mountains. That's an innovation. But you can also wield grappling hooks to traverse walls and make use of objects, like oil barrels in battle. It's 1998 all over again. Back to the press release. These, These new, new actions offer a breadth of new possibilities for players to take advantage of while traveling around third century China. Oh, and caught in the heat of battle! <laughs> Outside of that, new features, characters, content, etc. There will be new characters, of course. Uh, hopefully we won't lose any characters and hopefully we won't have a whole bunch of cloned movesets which that's always been an issue with this series was another reason why Dynasty Warriors 6 was such a fucking letdown in any case Dynasty Warriors 8 is a tough act to follow uh, it's also the first game in the series I believe to break the the curse there's a curse floated about by fans that even numbered Dynasty Warriors games aren't very good but Dynasty Warriors 8 was sort of the best one so Dynasty Warriors 9 could it be a reversal of the curse? A recursal, in fact? No, because I mean, curses aren't real. It'll be good or it'll be bad. I hope it'll be good. We'll have to find out. Keep a close eye on this one. Big Dynasty Warriors fan. I don't know if I've mentioned that. But there we are. Excited. A bit. But tentative. A bit. Oh, I do like Dynasty Warriors, though. Oh!